Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Yeah. Um, if you're new to the channel, then I'm Ryan. And I'm Joe. And today we are having a little outing pretty much in Bristol. Yes. So today it's a little explore vlog. It is. We are here at Aerospace Bristol, which is basically like a museum for aircraft. They do have Concorde here. Yes. Um, and because we're from Bristol, Concorde is quite well known because mm -hmm. it was pretty much built here. At least the engines were. The engines. The engines Rolls -Royce. were. The Rolls Royce engines. Um, so we're going to get to have a tour around the Concorde that we have here. There are other Concords around the UK, that, like museums. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have a little tour around that. Um, we just thought it would be a fun day out for a couple of hours. Yeah. Have a little look around. Um, so if you're interested in doing anything like this, then I'll put all the information for Aerospace Bristol in the description. Um, and a little link if you want to get tickets um, but one advantage is if you get a ticket you then can come back as many times as you want for free for a whole year from the date that you first use the mm. ticket bargain so yeah so let's um let's get inside and have a tour of Concord arrivals it's like going on holiday oh look do you think that fell off a plane this is the horse drawn Bristol tram. Oh, it used to get pulled by a horse. Yeah, but then that's the dirty uh, white ladies' road trams. See? You learn something new every day, Joe. You didn't realize they had trams in Bristol. So, this is like a hundred years of history that you start off with the beginning. In 1903, the Wright brothers made the world's first powered flight in North Carolina, USA. Sir George White informed the shareholders of the Bristol Tramways and Carriage Company that he was starting an aircraft company. All started in Bristol. See? Here he is. Sir George White. Alright, mate. Wow. So this was used in the First World War when the Royal Air Force was born, 1st of April, 1918. The Bristol, what's that, F2B fighter. F2B fighter. That's We're crazy. Yeah, you'd like all this stuff. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it, they're made of wood. The propellers? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that is just mad, to think like that fought in the war, like you think, I don't know, you just don't feel airworthy, does it? Like, you're literally exposed. Yeah. But they didn't, they didn't go to, like, the heights that aircraft go to today. No. Bristol Power. Aircraft had proved their value in war, but through the decades after 1918, aviation came to symbolise a new spirit of optimism, modernity, and progress. Flying goggles. <laughs> Reminds me a bit of Captain America. Yeah. The Bristol. Bang. The Bristol Lorry. The Lorry was built in 1920 by the Bristol Tramways and Carriage Company, based at Brislington. Oh, round from us. Yeah. That's funny. Joe's found a bomb. That's quite scary. An exploded bomb. Dropped on Filton during the air raids of September 1940. That's scary. It was sent to kill you. Mm. Actually see inside the plane. Crazy. Like that's where you'd actually sit. No. Yeah. Doesn't seem very comfortable. <laughs> no. Not at all. The nose of the plane. Weird. There's nothing in the front. No. Nah. Like first little bit. Is that normally where like the 
black boxes or something is. Or like there's something in the news of a plane. I don't know. Look it up. This is crazy. Huge. I can't quite work out what it is. It's like a helicopter. Isn't it's it? a helicopter, but it looks like a plane. The Bristol Brentford first twin, twin rover helicopter. Mm. That's it in action. Yeah. Okay, mad. Yeah. Can you look inside? It's crazy. The whispering giant, Britannia. See, that's why you always had Britannia. Remember Britannia? What was Thompson, Tui? It was Britannia Airways. Uh, this was our first. See? Britannia Airways. Right. See? You can see on the tail, you've got the. That used to be on the tail of the Britannia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it all changed to like Thompson, Tui. Cool, though. Yeah, the Whispering Giant, they called it. One of the first passenger planes. Should we have a little look? Up the steps. Wow, look! Comfy little seats. Oh, it smells old. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they're comfy. I feel quite comfy. Hey, Joe. <laughs> you make great cabin crew. Exit lights. <laughs> Pull down. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like one of those really camp ones What's that do the funny you? ones. Oh, the whistle yeah. blow it up. Yeah. There could be actual cabin crew that watch this that go, you just. Just done it all. You just killed like 350 feet roll. Well done, Joe. You're sad. Look at the door. Even Ryan Air would take you. Even Ryan Air would take you. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Oh, it just mm -hmm. smells old, doesn't it? I've never been in a cockpit. In a cockpit. No. Never. What, you've been like this, I've been like, no, but not, the door is normally shut when you board a plane. Oh, that smells in there. It does, doesn't it? It's like real... Leather. smell of vision It's really... You would board? It's funny, isn't it? Because if you think... You'd have seats here as well. Yeah. And then. And well, usually you'd have no door on that side, don't you? Yeah, yeah, doors the same side. Yeah, there's no windows. That's what it was like. Is there no windows? Well, there's no, none here. Oh. I imagine there was on the original. It's mad. That's cool, though. That is cool. Hi, Joe. What'd you see? <laughs> no. <laughs> strikes the ground, doesn't it? Oh, at the bottom. Strike. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Tell strike? I'm not sure. It's crazy. Royal Navy fighter jet. Injection seat. 1980 to 2012, the sky is the limit. The aerospace industry was completely transformed during the 1980s. Huh. BAE 146. The 146 was a short haul airliner. Yeah, this is what you know now, isn't it? <laughs> Not being funny, that's nicer seats than some of the ones you get now. Like, look how thick the back of them are. Like, <laughs> yeah. Look where the cases go, though. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they didn't get stacked as neatly as that, though. No. <laughs> it's weird, though. But it was. It was always a three and a three. Like, your normal planes were always three and three. Most of them are still that, I think. 
Yeah, but now you've got a lot of you've got like the big big ones, aren't you? Like, yeah. like that's what it's like without anything in, and then once it's all fitted, it's weird. Is this like a simulator, or will be? Oh, that's weird. Coming into land. Is it moving? No. No, it's just the screen. It makes you feel like you're on the again. When you watch it, you do feel like you're actually moving. That's mad. Like, that's what you see in there, basically, in the front of the engine. The Rolls Royce Trent 1000 fan set. That's what cuts you up if you're a bird and you fly into it. Bird strike. Yeah, I don't know, it'd be like something out of soul. That's a big thing. Yeah, that is big. Joe playing with toys. You know how to work it? Yeah. So this is landing. It's got all the different wing positions. So you've got landing. Right. So it goes down. Yeah. Right. Right, so we can set some computer thing. Right, so. You're in the pilot's license. Oh, oh you're, you're a pilot. Really. Well done, Joe. Thank you. So yeah, so that's like the hundred year history of aircraft yeah, and other things. Come in. Yeah. So we're gonna leave this bit, got a cafe, and then we get to go see Concord. Dada, here's the cafe. So we stopped for a little snack. A little snacky snack. Uh, Joe lunch break. Went for cake. Obviously, cake and coffee. Cake and coffee. I mean, it's it's a three triple layer cappuccino cake. And a coffee. And a coffee. And a chicken and bacon mayo sandwich. And I went for a ham and cheese. You know. And a coke. It's and a packet of crisps. Looks nice though. That does look nice cake. Yeah, I think it's like different. That's chocolate. That's our uh, and vanilla. That's vanilla. Vanilla. But then it's got like a cream. A buttercream. Cream. Yeah. That coffee, I love the smell of coffee, but I can't stand the taste of it. Love I wish I liked coffee. She did a little heart on it as well. That's cool. Coffee art. Um, for what it was though, I mean, it was quite expensive. This came to like 18 quid for just, I mean, a sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich, £3.65. It's not a Tesco meal deal, is it? Let's be honest. No, they need to make their money somehow. It's true, but right, let's eat. We've eaten and we are now heading over to yeah, to the um, the Concord. Field control tower. Yeah, so one of them. That's the building that Concord's in. That alright. That is um, well what used to be Filton Airport. Yeah. That used to be a runway that Concord flew into. Yeah, because it's it couldn't land at Bristol because of the angle and it's not long enough. No, so it landed at Filton and now it's in here. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. This is the one that was purposely built, wasn't it? Purposely built for, yeah. Yeah. for Concord, yeah. There she is. That is crazy. Like, that is actually her. That's mad. I find that weird. I find it weird that... Like... Is it, well, yeah, but also, like, that that is actually the plane. Like, this is... This isn't, like, a model. No, that's the real one. This is the one that flew over yeah. Bristol. <laughs> when you were still in school. When I was still in school, I was... <laughs> I were 15 or 14 or 16 years old. That's mad. Oh, British Airways, mind. 
Why is it every time I think of British Airways, I always think of Pam Am when she does her VA Aerostess impressions? <laughs> what she She's like, they're horses, aren't they? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> no disrespect to any it's huge. British Airways fans. No, I've, I've heard that the, the windows are tiny. Yeah, look at them. They're tiny. They are little. They're like diddy little windows. They're like Lego windows. Whoa, there you go. Ooh. That's cool. It's like being at Disney and watching the yeah. castle. I don't understand that. Why is it we've had it, but now in the modern day we can't build something like we can't fly some of this? I know it had accidents, doesn't it? But what plane hasn't? Yeah. It's because of the price of it. Yeah. People didn't spend it, did they? But then, like, you haven't got it. You could do. Could, couldn't you do, like, transatlantic? Oh, in like in a couple like, of hours? Yeah, like four, four, three or four hours? Like two hours, I think it was. To get to New York. To New York, yeah. It's basically a rocket. <laughs> Pretty much. But then don't the front, the, I the think nose the front. nose moves, doesn't it? It won't when it's flying. It'll be up to do with the streamline of it. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's like. I just find it odd. I, I want to stand under it. Because you can. I've never stood underneath a plane before. Like, literally. That's what it's like to be under a plane. Have you ever stood under a plane before? You ever stood under a plane before? No. No. Why don't you? Because <laughs> you can. These engines, though. So this is where it sucked the air in, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. See, the tyres aren't as big as I thought they'd be. Where did the tyres go, then? The tyres go. Did the tyres stay down? Ah! That comes down as well. This whole panel comes down. That whole panel. Yeah. And they go like it's up. That is mad. Like you're literally under a plane. You're under Concorde. Still under Concorde. That's crazy. Yeah, it's cool. Like the wing. The wing is just huge. It's got a little, shows you what to, it took the air in and that then pumped it out, which forced it through, is it? So it took, sucked the air through and then at the back is where you have these like jet engines. That is mad. It's crazy. Hey? To get from London to New York? Three hours, 20 minutes. Knew it was quick. Seven hour flight? What I find weird is that this plane actually flew. Yeah. And we have done like loads of trips to like Miami, to New York, to... Never flew to Australia though, did they? Concord? No. 
crazy. Yeah. Like, look at that. Oh, is that... What? What's that wheel for there? What's the wheel? What, on the back? Yeah. Why is there a wheel there? I don't think they used it very often. I think that just stops the tail. Would that have been when they were landing? That that would have touched down? Yeah. Because it doesn't, it, it doesn't land. It lands on a wheel steep angle. Yeah. It doesn't land like a normal plane wherever they come like that. It comes right down like that. G B O A F. G Booth. G Booth. Yeah, I just can't get over how huge it is. And that is real. Uh, that is real, I think. Yeah. It's not fake. It's, it's not, not fake. fake, it's actually real. Like I've seen Concord in the sky. And now I'm stood under the engine. Like, that's the engine. Like, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. It's just huge. You end up getting a bit of, um, of a stiff neck from looking up so much. But look, literally, so we're walking up. You can literally see the wings. I mean, look at that. That's just crazy. It's gonna be dated, isn't it? Eh? It's gonna I think it's gonna look very dated and very tiny. Very 70s. Um, I don't know 70s, because it, it was still flying relatively recently, but I think it's gonna be tiny. Look, those windows are tiny. Yeah. I didn't see much at them, but then... Yeah, it's weird. Like, that's just crazy. Look at that spike. Why was that? Why did it have a spike on it? Cut through, maybe? I thought it was an antenna. I feel like, um, when it was in use, yeah. it would have had a different kind of paint on it. Because it, I, I don't feel like it's got the shine like you would normally get on a plane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's quite a map that doesn't show in the middle. Yeah. That is literally the cockpit. Touch the side of the plane as you board. Yeah, no. <laughs> it is like you're boarding. I know. You're boarding Concord. Put your passport. Yeah. 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 On we go. go on Let's go on in. Right, it is. Yeah, well, I'm short, so that is quite. Quite low, tiny. Oh, there he goes, touching the floor. Oh wow! God, it's so cool. Oh wow! Oh, is this the last flight? London Heathrow, 26th of November, 2003. London Heathrow. I was 13 then. To Filton. Mhm. Mm On but never forgotten. Uh, that's all the signatures of everybody that was. On, it. on its arrival at Filton, members of crew signed the aircraft with goodwill messages. Let you like your tea or coffee. <laughs> That's quite funny. Oh, you can feel it. As you're walking down, you can feel it getting smaller. That's crazy. How many switches? Like, how do you even know like what you're actually looking at? Like, they get trained, don't they? I mean, it's not as small as I thought it would be. Yeah, but if you've got four people in here... Yeah, that would be very... That's cramped. quite... Cramped. A small space, isn't it? Mm. I mean... I wonder how many times people have hit their head. 
Yeah, you couldn't be a tall. I mean, I nearly hit my head then, and I'm not tall. Right. That's the little tray, is that? The little cups. Royal Dalton. Just in there. That's cool. So that's your bathroom. That is tiny. That is really tiny. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that is small. Wow. Oh yeah, it's not as small as I thought it would be. And if you look at the windows, you can actually see out of. So, um, so can you see out of a window? You can, but it's almost like you you can see, but not not amazing. No, it is quite tiny. Like, it is quite comfy. Good. Apparently it used to expand. Welcome to Concord. Yeah. Wow. So this has been like where your cases would have gone? Yeah. So what, these would have fallen down, I'm guessing? Yeah, it comes down. So C and D. A, B, C and D. That's bad. Like, that is just crazy. They don't look too bad. Was this like first class though at the front? Mm, I think it's the same. That's just madness. But I still can't get over how tiny the windows are. Got the Concord BA logo on the belt clip. No, I don't think I'd feel unsafe. I mean, it's carpeted and all that, isn't it? Like, what does the tray? This is what the trays were like. It is dated. Yeah, it, dated. it has got. It, it's it's kind of like late nineties, two thousands kind of feel to it, isn't it? Can't even see the wings. No, the wings are right at the back. Oh, yeah, true. That's crazy. Yeah, because then you've got more um, room to go back. Not that I don't even know if the chairs do go back, actually. That's crazy. Emergency beacon. <laughs> So there's another bathroom. Yeah, there's another, there's another bathroom there, another bathroom there. What's that? Absolutely. So this is where they would have spoken. That's it's funny. Like this would have actually been where the cabin crew would have sat. Yeah. Like this is where they would have sat. <laughs> and this is the end, the second part. Is it now? I think so. I think it's, it feels like it's a bit narrower at the back. I think it goes, it dips slightly. Yeah, but you've got like the whole kitchen thing at the back. Yeah. There we go. Is that where they would be then? Oh. Yeah. I don't want to press it just in case I do go on the tannery. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for flying Concord. Goodbye. What's that? <laughs> That's the way they talk to everybody else. That's um, what they would speak over. Yeah, like look. That's how we talk. Yeah. And I'm, I'm only really like five foot long, so. <laughs> yeah. Right, go on then. You got a duck. There you have it. Yeah. They're mad. Like literally, you're pretty much over the wing here. Yeah, you can tell like the paintwork it hasn't got like the finish because you can sure. see the like the ridges. Yeah. Whereas normally you've got like a coating over it, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. There you have it. That is Concord. Wow. It's that is impressive. So now we've got a little museum of all the different prototypes of Concord. Yeah, so 1962, just read, where was it, in 1962, the British Aircraft Corporation and basically France, they signed an agreement to co-create 
Concorde, which is why it was British Airways and Air France. Interesting. Little prototype. These are all the different styles. They're all pretty similar though. Yeah, so you can see here that the tip moves, doesn't it? It goes yeah, like... <clears throat> developing the unique shape. So this is like the cockpit. If you're taking off... Yeah, he's, there's a plane in front of him. Yeah, like if you were just sat there, like this would be your view. Like this is what the, pl the seats would have been. Is this what they were like then? Yeah, that you've got old. That was a cigarette thing. It's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, but I remember as a kid, I remember as a kid, um, it being that people smoked on, on planes and you'd be asked whether you wanted to sit in the smoking or non-smoking area. Mad. Cabin crew. Concord crew, <laughs> that was our passes. Yeah, like a little lanyard. Like... <laughs> I remember that BA, BA outfit though. I remember the shirts. Funny, yeah. Like, I still can't get over, like... Royal Dornton, like... Moe? That was that was the day that's it flew with yeah. Bristol. Yeah, I remember that. And that's that same thing. So it's G B O A F. Yeah. yeah. So. We walked on that plane. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Flying over the suspension bridge. So the shop is all the Concord merch. Oh, I like the coasters. Quite like the coasters. Three pound fifty for a coaster, maybe not so much. Little key ring. No. That's quite cool. Oh, I like the pencil. Yeah, the pencil's cute. That's quite a cool pencil, it's got like a little... How much is the pencil? Doesn't say, Doesn't say a price on it. What have you found? I've got a pencil, in blue. Ah, yeah. They're smart. Oh, that's when it was flying over a filter in the suspension bridge. 50. What are they? Cufflinks? Cufflinks, I know. Necklace, I think. I bet you can get like a Christmas decoration. The Apache. Yeah, see, that's the stuff I can imagine you having. Because it's Lego ish. What's well, eight plus years, why? It, oh, is that too old for you? Yeah, I need like 65. <laughs> Four months. Oh, wow. Tiddlywinks. It's a proper old little. Oh, wow. Look, you can get little. George Cross decoration, Victoria Cross. My granddad had that one. He was being a kid. You're actually doing this? Yeah. I'm ready. Not gonna lie, I can't believe this entertained you. Look at him all go. Look at his face. One's gone. And another one. No. Nope. And another one. Yeah, 
Hey. There you go. Well done. <laughs> so there you go. That's it. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was cool. That was quite fun. I'm, I'm not a geek on planes or anything no, like that. No, I'm not that, a geek on planes. But it was just, it was pitched at the right level to kind of give you enough info. But then if you know your stuff and you love planes, then there was also enough for you as well. I enjoyed it. Yeah. So we are now to the back out where the runway is. Sort of. Sort of. Yeah. They call it the nature runway. They've just left it They've to grow. They've just left it to grow. But there we have it. So I enjoyed that. So if you're thinking of a day out, then I'll put all the and details. There's stuff in there for the kids to actually play with. Oh, there's there's like it's great for kids. kids trial. There's clock it, sta like start clocking in, stamping thing you can do for the kids. Yeah, there's a few interactive things that, well, yeah. anybody can do, but kids it will enjoy it. Yeah. Um, there's a little outside play area, so Which is in the shape of Hong Kong. yeah, so that's quite fun. So there's there's, there's loads to do for a, a, a range of ages, I would say. So if you're interested, I will put the info in the description. And I did have a look. Prices are £18 for an adult. But once you've booked one ticket, you can then come back as many times as you want within a year of when you first visit. So we can come back whenever we want now for the next year. There we go. So that was our, our day out. Our little day out to Concord. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed watching. Yeah. So... Until next time, it's adios from me. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.